Are the Phillies really desperate? Do they need to go trout fishing this offseason? In some ways, you can say they're desperate. I mean, they paid big money for a lot of really, really good players, but their window seems to only be for the next three years. So they've got to make a hit and make some really good agent signings or else they're going to end up with this super team, but not get any rings to show for it. So the Phillies, they've got to at least consider trout fishing. I know it doesn't seem logical because, you know, he's an aging player despite being a great player. But you got to understand, compared to other players like Juan Soto, which I don't know why Phillies fans actually think, oh, they can get Juan Soto. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like a fantasy dream. But compared to other players, you know, Mike Trout, he's not at that same level anymore. You got to understand, Mike Trout, he has a no trade clause. He's going to be a much lower cost for the Phillies to get than some other players they can get. Yeah, I mean, they've already committed to Bryce Harper moving to first base. So it seems like Reese Hoskins is not going to be re-signing with the team. It looks like they do need another outfielder. And there are reports that Nick Castellanos will be traded sometime and they'll move his contract to another team. So it seems like they have some space for Mike Trout. Yeah, I, I got to push back on a Nick Castellanos comment. I know there are some rumors circling around about them trading Nick Castellanos, which honestly, I gotta be honest, I, I wouldn't mind shopping around and seeing what value he could get for you. But yeah. I without a doubt believe that Nick Castellanos is going to be here for the entirety of next season unless something terrible happens or they get some mega deal. Like there's no way I see the Philadelphia Phillies actually trading away Nick Castellanos, especially with the improvements he's made as an outfielder. But, you know, he does seem to come up not as not that big in the biggest moments of the postseason. But I guess we'll see about that. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some concern with Mike Trout that he's very injury prone. I mean, he's only played 290 games in the last four seasons, which is not what you want from one of your top guys if the Phillies were to go get him. But I guess there's some Phillies fans are OK with him possibly not playing the entire season. It's it's World Series or bust at this point. So uh, honestly, I, I'm one of those Philly fans that are like, if they do trade for Mike Trout and maybe he only plays half the season, as long as he's there in the postseason and he's healthy and producing, I mean, I think I could care less what Mike Trout gives me in the regular season. This team yeah, has already right. shown they don't need to be the division winners. They can go in with the wild card and still make it to the pennant, still, still make it to the World Series. So I don't really think that's that big of a concern. What I'm uh, more uh, concerned about is Mike Trout potentially playing too many regular season games and then getting injured and then not being able to play the yeah, yeah, season. Yeah. That's that's a real concern. I mean, the Angels do probably want him gone, right? Yeah, they definitely they, they definitely want him gone. I mean, I can't. I, I honestly, the Angels. I mean, how do you waste Mike Trout and Shohei Otani? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, and they didn't get anything for Shohei Otani, so that you know that they're definitely going to try to get at least something back for Mike Trout, which is really plays into the Phillies' hands a bit because Mike Trout he has a no trade cost. There's only a few teams he might actually want to go to. So the price probably isn't gonna be as high as I think most people are gonna expect for Mike Trout. Yeah, I mean, the price to trade for Mike Trout might not be that high considering his age and all, all the injury pro, and especially compared to someone like Juan Soto. But his contract is actually a lot of money for the Phillies to take. I mean, they have done it with other people like Bryce Harper, Trey Turner. So it does seem like John Middleton is not shying away from this, but we also have to acknowledge the reality. Mike Trout's contract is high. I mean, I think you kind of answered your question there. I think the Phillies have put in so much money at this point, like putting in that much more money. I know it's kind of like a sunk cost fallacy, but it really, it, it really isn't. Like they need to win a championship and they need to go all out in order to do it. And you got to also understand if Mike Chuck comes to Philly, they might sell out half their games this season. Like, yeah, that's you're the right. type of impact he could have, you know, being from Philly and everyone rooting for him. So like, yeah, sure, sure. They're going to pay a lot of luxury tax. They're going to pay a uh, heavy price load to uh, pay for that team. But Mike Trout might definitely be worth it if he's available in the postseason, which is okay. a big hit. Okay, okay. So, but what about Juan Soto? I mean, there's a lot of talk surrounding with Phillies fans that they want to go after Juan Soto, that he might be a better fit into their system right now. He's younger. He's less injury prone. Obviously, you're going to have to give up more to go get him. You're going to probably probably pay higher luxury tax for this. But what do you think about that? I mean, yes, Mike Trout is from South Jersey. Yes, he's an Eagles fan. Yes, he was seen wearing the AJ Brown Kelly Green jersey the other day. But at the end of the day, all Phillies fans care about is winning. And if Mike Trout's injured, he's not helping them win. So a lot of fans want to go after Juan Soto. I mean, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's actually kind of surprising. You think that Philly fans would want Mike Trout, but I think most of them just want to just want to avoid him. The thing with Juan Soto is that, yeah, he's definitely at this point in his career a better player and he's definitely a better pickup because he's going to be there for the long run. But the thing is, if you actually look into it, he might not be there for the long run. 
because he only has one year left on his contract. That's a pretty big reason to like not trade for him because he could come here and you know, he's young. He wants to get a huge payday. And if some random team that has a lot of money and just wants to spend on someone, they could really go after him and then essentially just ruin the entire Phillies offseason plans by that trade.